Hey guys, this is Jonathan from Woodland Gear of MyWoodlandGear.com. Today we're going to be at our workshop and we're going to show you how to convert the Hatfield SGL 12 gauge shotgun into a nice little foldable pack or survival rifle. So grab your gear and let's get ready for our next Woodland adventure. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this down the barrel to make it a little bit more compact. So what I'm going to do is come down here, mark 19 inches, on both sides just in case. So after cutting the barrel down, we've already trimmed just about nine inches off the gun already. And that's a good bit of weight. But our next thing we're gonna tackle is getting the, the gun to fold flat. We want this part to be able to touch the butt and be nice and flat when we stick it in our backpack. So for that, we're gonna start by trimming off this, this uh, trigger lip right here. Got a little curl to it. We're gonna trim that down. And then we're going to gouge this out a little bit and try to finish it off the rest of the way. All right, so we got pretty much um, most of the trigger uh, ground off, and then I uh, kind of sanded it off with a little bit of a of a sharpening stone from an old knife. It's like an old crappy two dollar sharpening stone you pick those up at the dollar store, but it worked pretty good for removing a good bit of metal really quickly. I just had it laying around, so we got that pretty much to the shape we wanted. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and uh, pull off the stock of the gun here, or the uh, the foregrip. That's just simply removed by this one screw right here. And we got this shallow groove, and that's where the uh, trigger guard sits when you fold it flat. We're going to gouge this out a bit to make more room for the trigger guard to go in deeper. And we're going to go ahead and do that now. So now that we got our center drilled out a little bit here, you can see the next part that's hitting is right here on the bottom of this trigger guard. And uh, the safest thing to do without taking any more metal off the trigger than we have to is just go on ahead and gouge out a little bit more wood right here on the bottom side. So we're going to create a little channel that goes in this way. So right here where we cut off, it's fitting pretty nicely into our shallow groove we carved in here. You can see that pretty good. Right there's our groove. Just cut a small trench. Didn't really take much material off at all. Small little trench in there. But now the next problem is is that the handle part of the buttstock here is hitting on the foregrip and the only problem with that is that there's a screw in the way so we can't take any more off of the foregrip so we're gonna have to go and 
uh, retrace the handle. We're going to draw a line here and we're going to cut it out with a jigsaw, sand it down, and kind of reprofile this whole part right here. All right, so the modifications come along pretty good. We got the, um, the barrel cut off. We got the uh, trigger guard trimmed down. We got our trigger guard uh, nesting spot. We got that trimmed out. And we've got our handle cut down. So now, when we when we fold the gun over, it sits flat, completely flat. Barrel's touching stock. Very nice. Very packable. So, but one other thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, sand down this edge flat a little bit better. It's pretty un uneven, you'll see on the screen. And um, this bevel here underneath the handle, I'm thinking about taking it out a little bit further, taking off a little bit more material. You also see some marks in the stock and stuff from where we hit it with the saw and then put it in the vise a little too tight. But that's okay because later on we're, we're thinking about planning on uh, wrapping it in some camo wrap. Make it a little bit more uh, outdoorsy, a little bit survivally. Um, so you're gonna have to stay tuned for those two. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. The only other thing we went ahead and did is sanded off some of the burrs that are made when you uh, when you use the grinder. You're inevitably inevitably gonna get some burrs. We took the uh, the small file, the small hand file. We went in and uh, filed all those off, so it's nice and nice and smooth. You just gotta rub your finger in there and see if you can feel any resistance, any friction at all and just make sure you sand that down, ground it down really good, and get that out of there. We did the same thing on the trigger guard, so everything is nice and smooth and doesn't really cut into your hand at all. So, And with that, that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a like, comment, or subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can find more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching, and remember, adventure is waiting.